just fit right back in, or how was it jumping on this field here? Uh, it was great. I feel like I ran into a great group of guys, super helpful. Everybody was making sure I was on, I was getting caught up to speed, and it was a lot of energy, so we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. yep. When they played the George Clinton song at the beginning, did you recognize what that was from? Absolutely, always. And I always set it out, root to the cues. Mm -hmm. When did it sort of crystallize and start to become evident that the uh, Stamps were interested in you and it might be uh, time for a return for you? Um, honestly, it was just after the season in Washington. Um, I was always in communication with Coach Dickey. Ever since I left, we always had communication back and forth. But you know, I, knew, I always knew it was a possibility I'd end up back here. And I'm super happy we got, we got it to make it happen. What was the thought process like for you when you got that call or text from you? Um, honestly, I, I was a little anxious, but definitely excited that I got to come back in the locker room and be with some of the guys from, from 17 and 18. So it was definitely a lot of excitement. There's well, let's talk about those guys. Uh, there's some, but not that many remaining, right? Yeah, it's, it's crazy, but I feel like it's still a lot of that, those old bones still in here, that, that energy that we had back then. So it definitely feels good to be with those guys. And I see it rubbed off on some of the guys that are newer. Was it, I mean, obviously you and Reggie would have been in the same receiver's room. Uh -huh. He'd probably be the only receiver still still here from that time. But um, what's the relationship there? Just good to see him? Oh, me and Reggie talk all the time. We never lost contact. So it's still that uh, brotherly love and that brotherly rivalry. We still back, bigger back and forth, but it's all love. Is it weird being back at all? Like the last time you were here, it was um, five years ago now. I wouldn't. No, it's definitely not weird, but I feel like every step I took in that locker room, like another memory came back. So it was definitely a good time. How was it like on the field? Like you just kind of experiencing this again for the second time? Oh man, this air definitely got me. <laughs> um, but that's why I had to go out there and give me some sprints in. But it's definitely. I, I feel like I feel better than I thought I was gonna feel. So that's definitely encouraging. You want to play Friday? Yeah. Hope so. Get some catches, get a touchdown. Hopefully, I'll score on my first catch. Re redo this again. Yeah. yeah. Is the playbook a lot different, or is it similar? Um, very similar. I, I, surprisingly, I, a lot of that stuff came back. So as I'm sitting in the meeting room, I'm just like, okay, I remember that. I remember that. So a lot of that stuff kind of came back to me. It's still some things that I got to get back refreshed on and get back up to speed with. But for the most part, I felt like a lot of that stuff came back. So I feel a lot better than I thought I was going to feel. What's so you spent a lot of time talking to a Jake up there. Is that just mm -hmm. to forge a new identity and relationship now, I guess? Oh, yeah, we got to forge. We got, we got to make that make it work, man. We got to build a relationship, get a bond, and definitely go over some of the routes that we might not have gotten during practice. And that's what's going to show up in the game. Is there one memory you have from the sort of like couple days after Grey Cup 2018 that you are allowed to share with us? Um, It was a lot going on, man. <laughs> to be honest with you, what only thing that I kind of regret that I missed was the ceremony. I know, unfortunately, I was not here, but I wish I was there. They sent me my ring in the mail. I was like, damn, I wish I was at the ceremony to get this. But it was cool nonetheless. There's a lot of young receivers out here. Do you feel like you want to be a leader out there? Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. You know, I, I'm, I'm always up to help anybody. Um, I don't think I want to take on, not, not, not saying that I wouldn't want to, but I'm not going to force a big brother role, per se. It's more of a got questions I'm here to ask. I'd rather show by example, by how hard I work on the field. And if you know if they got any questions, they could always come to me. And I, and I feel like I have to show them that yeah, it's definitely open, an open door there for them to ask questions.